What's going on Cubs fam? It has been too long since we've done a car video. I hope you guys don't mind the uh, random presentation here. I am out at work right now and we just got this post from CG. Big enough that I wanted to make a video about it. Um, it is about the Thai Echelon and wouldn't you know it, but it looks like there are performance issues that need to be investigated. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I'm going to read the post here, but before we get into anything, I just want to tell you guys, if, you're, if you were on the fence on whether or not you were going to buy shards for this, don't buy anything at all until you find out what the, the result of this is. It, any, I've got more thoughts. Well, let's just read this and then we'll go from there. So it is from Doja. Hi, Holo Table Heroes. We are aware of reports of Thai Echelon and First Order Fleet's PvP for performance versus Executor-led fleets. The team is in the midst of investigating if there are any balance issues, and if so, if these warrant any changes to either Executor or Thai Echelon, it's, they're not going to change the Executor. <laughs> I mean, maybe they would. That could be good. Um, or other potential solutions. We have not made any decisions as to whether action needs to be taken, but we will inform you in advance if there are any upcoming changes as a result of this investigation. Okay, so a couple thoughts. First and foremost, I actually want to thank CG for making this post. This to me reads as finally somebody's going, okay, we need to look into this. And maybe Doja or Crumb or somebody's like, hey, we need to give them a heads up right now. Even though we don't know what we're going to do yet, we need to give them a heads up so that people can make informed decisions on what they're going to do. And so I actually appreciate a preemptive post like this. They've done this kind of thing before. I think it's the right thing to do. I kind of wish it would have come sooner. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I, it, it's, it hasn't really been that long. So, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but the second thing is, it just... How, for everyone out there, how consistently have you guys been so frustrated with the nerfs that come in inevitably... Anytime we have a meta and a new counter that is able to tackle it, it just ends up getting nerfed. And specifically in this case, if they now obviously we don't know if they're going to nerf this or not, my prediction is they're absolutely going to nerf it. If they felt like this was probably not that big of a deal, I don't think this post gets made. They might they don't know how they're going to handle it yet, so they don't have anything to announce. But this post to me definitely reads like, we do not like what this looks like right now. And we are going to make a change. We just don't know exactly what that change is going to be. So at any rate, I, I absolutely 100% plan on a nerf. But especially with the executor in particular, this is a very, very, very frustrating meta that we've had to deal with. And it's not just affecting fleet. In fact, the thing that it affects the most is Grand Arena. How many Grand Arena matches are exclusively being determined right now by executor fleets? And how refreshing has it been to have an answer to that, a legitimate answer to that that's even better than the executor itself? There's, I mean, tell me one reliable answer to the executor right now. I'm aware of the malevolence counters and I've been able to have success with it, but it's very RNG dependent. The, the mirror matches themselves are very RNG dependent unless you want to invest in a Relic 9 uh, Piet. But even then, if your opponent has a Relic 9 Piet, you're just in the same situation that you were in before. So if they do end up nerfing this, and again, I absolutely think that they will, it just leaves us in the same empty situation that we've been in so many times before of we're going to nerf we're going to nerf anything that comes out that's that's good and player friendly and that just frankly kind of pisses me off so anyway tell me what you guys think down in the comments below on this potential nerf i'm going to say they're almost for sure nerfing it again they they say that they are um, considering changes to the executor or tie echelon or other potential solutions. No decisions as to whether or not any action needs to be taken. 
we wanted for me advance. Uh, so I, technically speaking, they could come out and say, actually, we're good with this. What they're probably doing at this point is point through data on how reliable is the counter when this squad goes up against this. They got a stats guy who's going in there and figuring out, all right, what's the percentage of win? Are we comfortable with that percentage? And if the percentage is too high, then they're going to make a nerf, which I'm guessing they've already seen that the percentage is too high. And so they're actually probably for sure making a nerf and just discussing exactly how they want to do that. And they're probably gonna try to do it in a way where they don't have to refund all of you guys who went out and rushed and bought the Thai Echelon, which is kind of another angle of that that I think makes me antsy. I know I've invested crystals on getting my Thai Echelon up to five stars. I'm guessing a lot of you guys have too. I think five stars is kind of like that sweet spot of, all right, this is a viable counter, maybe not the most reliable, but especially for anyone who has got it to seven stars, that's just a massive leap in, in crystal uh, investment. And I would absolutely expect if they make a change where the Thai Echelon is less reliable or unreliable to counter executor fleets that those crystals should 1000% be refunded in that case. And so I'm, I'm guessing they're gonna try to find a way to avoid that kind of situation. So anyway, these are just my initial thoughts. Um, sorry again for the uh, bad presentation. I, I mean, you know what? Let's be real. My car, my car is a piece of shit, but it's an amazing YouTube studio. We, we've had many good moments in this car, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, like, not that many, but, but I, I think they've been okay. So I guess it's not that bad, but the audio especially. I, I'm an audio snob. I like to have my nice microphone for these videos. So um, anyway, let me know what, where you guys are at with the Thai Echelon. How many of you guys have already got it to five or seven stars and how do you feel about the potential for a nerf? And especially, um, I'm curious, one thing that I didn't discuss very much in this uh, quick little uh, video is the executor potentially um, being the, the, the target of the changes. Um, how do you, for all of you executor owners out there, if they change the executor uh, in, in any way, uh, how do you feel about that? W would that be something that would uh, piss you off or, or maybe for anyone who doesn't have it. I mean, are we looking at now an executor buff coming in against First Order in particular? I don't know, it's a mess, but I hope they make a decision soon because I'm sitting on the fence on if I'm gonna buy another pack or not. And again, like I said at the very, very beginning of the video, if you're on the fence, just don't buy anything yet until we hear what it is. Unless they wait 30 days and those packs are gone and then we're just SOL. Oh gosh, okay. Hopefully they tell us soon. Let me know how you guys feel about it down in the comments below. And as always, my brothers, don't forget Han Shop first.